guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Love, Chino Boyo, and Other Delusions. Okay, here's the funny thing about this show. Um, I have been wanting to watch this show for the longest time. The longest, longest time. This is one of those other Kyo Annie, Annie shows that was on, like, the top of my list. And not too long ago, um, Netflix got it. And I was like, okay, so there's going to be one day where I'm going to go ahead and sit and watch it. And then next thing you know, someone on Patreon asks me to watch the show. And it's funny because um, this and another show now makes two shows that are on freaking Netflix that I'm eventually going to do a reaction on. And it's just so funny because it's on my Netflix queue. And then funny enough, it's just on there. Um, I'm really excited to watch this because the girl who's in this show, she kind of reminds me of, I don't remember her name. Um, the girl, because she has an eye patch as well, from another. So this is going to maybe be, like, a cutesy version of another where nobody dies and, like, all wacky shenanigans and ish happens. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be adorable as fuck because, I mean, it's Kill Annie and, you know, Kill Annie is just an amazing company and, mm, and it's going to be good as fuck. But I just know that this series is two seasons. No, it's two seasons, two movies. And a whole bunch of shorts. But for me, as of right now, until I get my answers, because um, I have to talk to the person who wants, uh, who requested this show, and I won't be doing that until Friday um, about it, I will, as of right now, just be watching season one and season two until I get my answers. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. Eighth grader syndrome? No. Ah, oh. you mean when they like start doing adultish things? <laughs> Come here, Pop. Come here, on my side. Good boy. Ooh. Well, looks like we're not going outside, Cody, after I'm done recording this. Because who knows when it's going to rain. <laughs> are we talking about your eye or are we talking about <laughs> she's weird though but cute and I've actually seen the opening to this like I think a couple of years ago and I really wanted to watch it like right then and then but <laughs> two days later I forgot the name <laughs> and then I do know that this is a meme that a lot of people like me <laughs> uh
Well, that's nice to know that it's a work of fiction, but... <laughs> It's just getting really dark outside. Okay, so your name's Utah, but I'm gonna call you you for short. <laughs> Girl, you look like Uzuki from Idol Master. And there she is again. <laughs> and you're missing the buzz. So you can just change yourself beyond brands making new. Of course she saw you. Ah. Good job, Lisa.
Yeah, it might be cool to you, but like to everyone else, it might not be. Sure, let's see. I do. Put your eyes normal. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you're going to be seeing her a lot. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're cool. Go on, Utah. Mm -hmm. Looks like you ain't gonna be able to go. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, I kind of assumed that ever since she came in the room.
Oh God. <laughs> Can we just say her imagination is like a top tier? Maybe. That means yes. <laughs> ah! It's pretty. Yeah, you might as well help anyway. <laughs> You're telling me it took all... <laughs> it seems like he did more work than she did. So good. I'm hungry. I'm eating yet. It's raining in here, and then it's also raining outside right now.
How can you be so sure about that? You don't want that. <laughs> okay, Yuta is freaking adorable. He's like the cutest little thing ever. I do love him. He kind of reminds me of. Makoto! Everyone's so cute and adorable, you just want to cuddle him. If Makoto really didn't have, like, if if Makoto had a phase <laughs> where he was into it that Yusu was into, it's like, it's so cute! It's like, ah, I can't. It's, it's just so cute. It's just, like, a really cute first episode. I mean, it's gonna be a really good show. <laughs> I just have a lot of questions about her. She's interesting. She's different. She's not your typical um, female protagonist. She's very different. And you know what? I like that about her. It's just, you know, her and her angry syndrome. <laughs> that is adorable. Like, oh my God. And he is trying. He's just trying his best. He's like, no, 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 no. Like, mm -mm. We, we not. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta feel bad for him because now he's stuck in this like okay this is basically <laughs> it's kind of like funny <laughs> except you know he's the only guy it's a whole bunch of girls and he's the one guy there's no other guy well except his friend but I don't think his friend is always really going to be hanging out with Yuta and everyone else. So it's just really Yuta, the only boy. But <laughs> she's adorable. I just love her imagination. She's kind of like, um, what was that one other series I watched on Netflix? The demon lord who comes to our world and he ends up working at McDonald's. He's <laughs> Cause that show was like hilarious as hell. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I watched it like one night. It was like three o'clock in the morning, and I was bored, and I think I was cleaning, and I was like, let me go ahead and watch this, and it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, it was so fucking cute. I love it. I just have a lot of questions. I mean, you know, her imagination is just out there. I mean, typically she's just freaking adorable as hell, but like, it makes you wonder. If everything she's truly saying to Yuta is 100% true. Because you know how, like, when Hadahi said something, because Hadahi is the god of her freaking series, it always came truthful. So I'm kind of thinking whatever she is eventually saying, it's possibly going to become true. But at the same time, I don't think it is because, you know, of the eighth grade syndrome. It's like that. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see in the next episode. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Episode two and three, two, one, go. What the hell are you running? Are you running from something? Is that Shinka? Oh, that could be your older sister. I think it is. Well, no, no, 
that we can do. Sorry, I had to just adjust my shorts because my freaking thick behind bars. <laughs> I'd love to go to the pool, but it's raining. Oh, your sister. Yeah, your sister. Or is it? Or was it the cat? <laughs> mm-hmm. When suddenly the kitty appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, oh my God, he's so cute. Hmm. Oh, come on. Utah. No, you might call them that too. Priestess of Melodies. Come on. I feel like she's just as weird as Rika. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's only episode two. And we don't really know anything about her. <laughs> Except, you know, she's, you know, 
a really nice, interesting student, but you never know. Well, wouldn't that be fun? Because she is kind of the cutest in this class. <laughs> oh no, if you only knew. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I see. Oh, my. <laughs> Yeah, what about you? You know, you get just calm down. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, now the gray cat has wings on it. Hmm? Let me guess, the gray cat yours? No, no, oh my God. <laughs> okay, Riga, when did you find the cat? Oh, so your name's coming. <laughs> I thought it would be the pigtail girl. <laughs> Who probably will maybe might be best girl for me. Very good. 
Isn't that a calculator? I feel like I'm going to sneeze. It kind of looks like a king turtle. <laughs> oh, there he is! Maybe if you had a picture instead of, oh. Well. Oh, yeah, so cute. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you, Tucker. Or you just keep it. But she tries to go. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. <laughs> 
She's blackmailing him, and I love it. Or she might be best girl. Cumin. She comes. Damn, <laughs> Cuban, are you okay? <laughs> I think so too. No, mm -hmm. oh, Kitty! Bruh. But oh, hold on, you did you guys get the cat though? <laughs> hey, kitty. Damn, she hit all three of them.
So he'll stay here. That's good. <laughs> Bro, but like that. Yeah. Toka just beat the crap out of these three kids. <laughs> this child, I didn't even know this woman was just like, oh, <laughs> like, oh god, it makes you look at a ladle a different way, like. Mm. But you never know. Any really kitchen utensil can be used as a weapon. So, mm. <laughs> Cumin is adorable. Her name is cute. It's gonna remind me of this evening, Cumin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hungry right now. I haven't eaten yet. But she's adorable, and I'm glad she was able to find her cat. Like, honestly. With this shit, with three cats. <laughs> oh my god, this girl. I can't with her, but I love her so much. I mean, I think if she had ever met Hadahi, maybe one day the Kyo Anna universe might happen where we get a big old crossover, like how when Clamp did their clan from Wonderlands 1 and 2 and you get to see all the work that they've done all in one big like 5 10 minute like short thing it's amazing as fuck one day this is gonna happen for Kill Annie and that's gonna be probably the best thing ever who knows if they really wanna do it I think I would love it because as someone who just finished um Hayoka a couple of weeks ago and really fell in love with that story and the mysteries and everything and I think it was episode it was the festival art um, where they were having like people dressed in costumes and singing stuff. And I was like, mm, be really funny if Hottie came up and just started singing God knows, yada, yada. But yeah, one day it's going to happen. But still, Rick's imagination, I freaking love it. I mean, oof, I think her and Hottie would be the best of friends. <laughs> like, that imagination, like I said, is funny you're not i mean i love the fact that you know yuta and cumin they're going along with it even though yuta is getting blackmailed by it <laughs> i mean itoka seems interesting i hope we get to see a lot more episodes about her because i don't really want to just remember her as you know um the <laughs> her sister who was allergic to it who was allergic to a freaking cat or cats in general but yeah this is a really good episode. Both episodes were good as hell. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Love, Chino Boo, and Other Delusions. If you guys enjoyed it, did I say Chino Boo? Chino Boyo. Um, and Other Delusions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.